If you're among those of us who enjoy milk drinks like lattes or cappuccinos on a regular basis, you'll know that steamed milk can make or break those drinks. And we're not just talking about hot milk. The texture of the milk is extremely important to the taste. Having just the right amount of foam is imperative for making a good milk drink. Luckily, if you have an espresso machine at home, you're in control. With that power comes responsibility. So today I'll be giving you a few tips and guiding you through how to steam silky smooth milk. Our first tip is picking the right milk. Different kinds of milk have different balances of fat and protein, which makes a huge impact on how bubbles form. If you're into the real stuff, you'll want to get whole milk. Even whole milks can vary, but generally speaking, whole milk is the gold standard for latte art. If you feel like your specific milk might be holding you back, don't be afraid to try a new brand. If you're not into dairy, there are more great alternatives than ever. We highly recommend Califia Farms Barista Series milks. Their oat milk in particular is delicious, and I'd argue it steams right on par with whole milk. Before you start steaming, make sure you have everything in order. If you leave your shot or pitcher of milk sitting around after they're done, the crema will begin to dissipate and the milk foam will begin to separate. Being fully prepared will help ensure you get the most out of both. First, you'll want your milk to be nice and cold. The colder it is, the more time you'll have to create foam. You'll also want to make sure you have the right pitcher for the job. When you start steaming, the milk will begin swirling around and the foam will cause its volume to expand. With that in mind, you'll want a pitcher that's considerably larger than the volume of milk you plan to steam. Last, make sure you have a towel handy. You'll use it to purge your steam wand of all the condensed water and milk inside. No one wants watered down milk. You'll also want it close at hand when you're finished to wipe down and purge the steam wand. Now let's actually steam some milk. The most important thing to keep track of when steaming milk is the depth and position of your steam wand in the pitcher. In the first few seconds, we want to create a whirlpool of milk and then carefully introduce air to create our foam. To do this, we'll position the steam wand halfway between the center of the pitcher and the outer wall. This will keep the milk spinning and ensure everything is evenly mixed and heated. We'll start with the steam tip entirely submerged in the milk. Now flip on the steam. The moment steam starts entering the milk, we want to slowly begin lowering the pitcher until we hear this sound. It indicates aeration, which means we're gently introducing air into the milk. When you hear that sound, stop lowering the pitcher and keep aerating for a few seconds, or for longer if you enjoy extra foamy drinks. If you lower the pitcher too much, air will simply blast into the milk making huge bubbles, and probably a mess. On the other end of the spectrum, your milk will start screeching if you aerate too little, and you'll end up with hot, foamless milk at the end. After a few seconds of aeration, you'll raise the pitcher so that the steam wand's tip is submerged in the milk. This way, we'll continue to heat the milk without adding more foam. Keep your free hand against the side of the pitcher. When it becomes too hot to touch for more than a second or so, turn off the steam. If all's gone well, you'll end up with this glossy, pearlescent sheen on top of your milk, with bubbles so small you can barely detect them. If you do have a few larger bubbles mixed in, don't worry. Just give the pitcher a few taps to work them out. Give your pitcher a few swirls to make sure the foam and milk are nicely integrated and you're ready to pour. Today, we'll just pour a simple dot. You'll start by pouring the milk from four to five inches above the surface of the espresso to mix in the milk and keep everything at consistent brown color. When the cup is just about full, lower the pitcher right down to the surface of the milk dead center in the cup. You should see your foam spill out onto the surface, creating a white dot. If so, congrats. You just steamed great milk and created the simplest form of latte art. If you weren't able to nail down the techniques in this video, let's chat about it in the comments below. If you're interested in pouring more complex designs, be sure to tap subscribe to see our upcoming videos on just that. And as always, thanks for watching.